I wonder I forgot to bring my umbrella. How can I pass my midterm tomorrow? How can I take control of my thinking? Why am I sitting in random places? I'm so shy and afraid to talk to people. I need to be more outgoing. I wonder what people think of me. Wait, if I'm evaluating my thinking, does this make me a stage two or stage one thinker? Definitely stage two. Someone please stop this guy from making me think more about my future. I'm not ready for all this life advice. <laughs> no. Logical fallacies happen all around us. The most common are bandwagon, hasty generalization, polarization, appeal to emotion, and name calling, which is often used in political debates. <laughs> If I don't get a degree, I might be more successful because Bill Gates and all the other college dropouts didn't get degrees and they're pretty successful. What is this guy even saying? What are these people even saying? Like, I'm just gonna, like, if I don't do this homework, I'm gonna get an F in the class. You will, and then you'll drop out. And you have a 100% okay, chance of getting an F. There's you no know what? I'm home. just a stupid woman, okay? Like, why are women so stupid? Like, why can't I just be a man? I don't know what that happens. Like a dragon too. <laughs> you, yeah, like, like, women are the reason why we're not successful. I am an anti-feminist, okay? All right, that's what I call myself. That's what I like. Yeah, that's what I believe in, okay? Anyways, because I didn't eat breakfast today, I failed my quiz, basically. Like, that's the whole reason I have to eat breakfast every day. This is such a strange essay. These facts don't make sense at all. I wonder where these statistics came from. Let's see. Um, it came from Purple Panda 33 on Yahoo Answers. Is this some sort of a joke? So, what is your opinion on gun control? Um, so, I'm pretty indifferent. Um, I think that people should be able to defend themselves, but at the same time, I think that it poses a threat to society. Yes. Um, I think that Common Core is a good idea in theory. Like it's a good idea that they're trying to make sure that all their students are up to the same standards. But at the same time, it's kind of harmful in the sense that um, it doesn't promote like some of the classroom activities that would like help get students up to that point. Like, say somebody like. It's maybe really close to the threshold of like being able to meet the standards, but then they don't, and so they get cut behind. But then, like in the next year, they kind of fall behind because they're bored because they already learned it. Yeah. Is climate change real? Yes, and I think it's a big problem. Are people taking the California drought seriously? I don't think so because I've seen people use running water while brushing their teeth and brushing. How do you think the Syrian refugee crisis is affecting our economy? Why? Ugh, I already know so much about ISIS. I already know what ISIS wants. I just need to stop researching ISIS. It's getting, I'm just getting a little too educated. I wish I didn't know about ISIS's plan for the coming apocalypse or their- I have to make sure to use all of the resources in this class. I have resources on Valencia College, Academic Search Complete, Purdue OWL, and the Kennedy Library. I wish I didn't have all these credible sources to look at. I wish I could just solely rely on Wikipedia for my information. I'm critically thinking all the time. Was that Snickers bar made overseas? How is our economy doing? How is Russia's economy doing? What are we even doing here? What am I doing here? Ugh, my brain hurts from too much thinking. Make it stop. After Courtney's class, I now get into way too many fights. I point out logical fallacies left and right, and now all, I, all of a sudden, all of my friends hate me. It's not my fault I can make valid logical arguments. I'm starting to bring up similes and chiros a little too much in everyday conversation. I keep having to point out false arguments. 
By the end of this class, you'll feel like you know so much more than everyone else and it's so annoying to be way more knowledgeable and informed than the general public about rhetoric, politics, and even satire. Donna, I think vanilla ice cream is better than chocolate. Just saying. No, I'm pretty sure chocolate is better. Uh, why would you think that? Like, vanilla has always been a cult classic. That's why I believe that it's always going to trump chocolate any day. Well, you know, Forrest Gump did say life is like a box of chocolates, not vanilla, so... What are you talking about, okay? That's just a movie line. Well, have you ever noticed that for holidays, like Valentine's Day last month, people give chocolates, not vanilla? Okay, Donna, you know what? Fine, fine, okay, all right, you make sense, okay? Chocolate is more prevalent than vanilla, but whatever. Hi, Courtney, we just wanted to tune in at the end of the video just to say um, we enjoyed your class tremendously. We've got to learn so many things from critical thinking to better analyzing the pieces of work that you've given us to look over and stuff. We wanted to convey in our video that we do agree with the prompt that we should take an active role in college. And that's because it's really important to listen to a whole bunch of viewpoints. That's like what we learned in class, like um, uh, doing the moderator assignments, listening to each one of other's opinions, and also like uh, researching the different topics to make sure like sources are credible and I don't know, just like finding good information, finding good research, essentially. We just wanted to thank you for these 11 weeks. Um, I think we all learned a lot um, about critical thinking and we're going to make more of an effort throughout college to be better thinkers. Bye! Right. Bye Courtney!